The woman who researched and helped discover the remains of King Richard III says his bones should not be stored at the University of Leicester, but taken to a more appropriate place. Philippa Langley made the comments on the first anniversary of confirmation of the discovery. Simon Ward reports. When King Richard III's remains were discovered under a Leicester Council car park, it caused a worldwide sensation. But a year on, the woman who researched his burial place is unhappy the bones are being kept at the University of Leicester while a final decision is made. My agreement in place locally says that following identification as the named custodian of the remains, I would be able to take Richard to a place of sanctity and rest to await reburial. That's what it says. It's pretty simple and it won't affect anything. It won't affect any of the outcomes and yet it will honour this man who fell in battle. So no one really knows that this is where he is? Nobody Apart knows that this is where he is. No, there's only two of us who have access to it. Last night on Inside Out East Midlands, the BBC was given access to a secret location at the University of Leicester where the bones are kept secure. I do feel quite unhappy that people think that the university did something incorrectly because we followed normal practice on the exhumation of many, many burials over the years. Work is well underway to build a new King Richard III visitor centre at Leicester Cathedral. The judicial review about the licence for the original dig will take place at the High Court in London on the 13th of March. Simon Ward, BBC East Midlands Today.